Hey guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge nail haul for you. I did some Black Friday shopping. Everything finally came in. I got stuff from Light Elegance, uh, Young Nails, Uber Chic, uh, Glitter Mix Canada, Madam Glam, just all kinds of things. So I'm going to share everything I got with you guys. There'll be some other videos of um, a full unboxing and review of the lamps and also the e-file from Melody Susie. I got a new one of those. So I'm going to do a full review on those items. But this is just a general haul of everything I got while it was on sale. Some amazing deals. I stocked up on all my nail supplies. I have enough acrylic probably to last me a year. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let me show you what I got. Okay guys, so first up is Light Elegance and they always put a little chocolate on top of their packages, which is so cute. It is an Andes Mint. These are the best. This is what you get at Olive Garden, I believe. So good. So we're gonna eat that real quick and then move on to opening the box. Okay, and they put on top of the box a whole bunch of little um, like flyers. So advertising some new items they have, the mini dot, some gel polishes, their newest winter collection, and all that information. First up in the box is a box of tips, and I've never tried their tips before, but I'm looking for some nice tips because the tips that I used to get are no longer available. So I'm gonna try out the Light Elegance ones and see if I like them. And then I got two of the LED dot lamps, and there's gonna be a full unboxing and review of those coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And then I also got from Light Elegance a fiber gel. This is for building out extensions. Next up, um, this wasn't a Black Friday thing, but I got it around the same time, so I thought I would show you guys. I got me a seven-tiered rack, and I'm going to put that out on my table as a display, and I'll have a video coming up on that as well, too. There's lots of more videos to come, guys, so keep your eyes open. So I have a little helper here to help me put this together. My wonderful husband, he um, helped me hold everything up so we could get it all screwed together. It's a little bit, um, it's not difficult, but it's just, it's a little hard to hold on to because of the pieces and stuff. So he helped me hold it up while I got all the pieces screwed into place. And it's very small, very tedious little spot. I was very happy I didn't have my nails on when I was trying to do this because these little tiny screws and nuts are very hard to hold on to with my short nails. I could imagine trying to do this with my long nails on. And there it is all together. Teamwork makes the dream work. There's my helper on his phone in the background. <laughs> so like I said, I will show you um, this when I get it all set up and my desk and everything will have the lamp set up. So I will have a video showing all that. It had a bunch of extra nuts and screws. So if you were to drop one, that's good. <laughs> um, and let's see, next up for this haul is Melody Susie. I got their newest e-file. This is the Sparkle Plus. It's supposed to be the updated version of the Sparkle Pro. Um, and I started a video on that. There's a full unboxing video. Um, and I let you listen to it and everything like that, but I am still testing it out, so I'm going to finish that video up once I have tested it further and let you know my final thoughts on it. Yeah. 
Next up in this haul is a huge bunch of stuff from Young Nails. So I picked up their large mystery box, their mystery box A, and their mystery box B, along with a couple of other things. As you can see, there's gel, gel polishes, nail tips, their full cover coffin ones, I believe, which are fantastic, um, art brushes, uh, gel paints, huge bottle of nail liquid, swipe, um, protein bond, foils, what else was in here? Top coats, base coats, and like a ton of acrylic powders. So this was seriously the best Black Friday deal I got from anywhere. And yeah, I'm gonna have enough acrylic to last me a long time. So next up is Madam Glam. So I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff from Madam Glam, just some essentials that I needed. So I got me a perfect black and a perfect white. These are really great black and white polishes. And then I picked up the no wipe top coat. I go through that like crazy as well. And then I grabbed me a application brush. This gives me, I think three or four now. I think it's four because there was also one in the advent calendar. So now I have one for dark gels, one for white and one for glitters and a spare. I also picked up their brush holder wanted to pick that up while it was on sale and I'm glad I did these fit in here perfectly keeps your brushes nice and organized and now I don't have to go searching through my drawer to find all my brushes so I'm just gonna show you that this is great for travel if you need to bring it along with you anywhere and it folds up really nice it's not super big it doesn't get really thick when you fill it up either and it's got this cute little strap that wraps around it it's a faux leather but it's really good quality I like it a lot and that is it from Madame Glam next up is ugly duckling so I get this from a US supplier I don't get it from ugly duckling directly that way it comes from the US it's a lot cheaper for shipping and a lot quicker they sell other pro only brands such as young nails and a couple of other things so um, I can link that in the description box for you guys as well but it is pro only um, so I picked up four of the matte top coats this is my absolute favorite matte as you guys know it doesn't separate over stamping it doesn't smear and it is super matte and the feel on it is really nice and soft I love it it's my favorite so I grabbed four of those hopefully that will last me a while got that while it was on sale as well next up is luminary so luminary wasn't having a huge sale I believe it was 20% off but I wanted to go ahead and stock up a little bit they also included some candies so nice um, I wanted to stock up on them because as you guys know, I've said it a million times, I use Luminary on about 90% of my clients. Most of my clients wear a gel overlay. They tend to keep their nails pretty short and this just helps them have their natural nails without them breaking. It's my absolute favorite product. It doesn't lift, it's so good. So the color that I use is Drive. My clients love it. Everybody always asks, oh my gosh, what's that color on your nails when I have it on my nails? This is it right here. It's a super flattering soft pink that looks great on just about any skin tone. So pretty. I also wanted to pick up Presence, which is their milky white. I feel like I can use this for art and other things. So I grabbed that and I also grabbed a little pot to put it in. They also gave me a brush. I'm not sure why I didn't order a gel polish in a bottle or not a gel polish, but a gel in a bottle. Um, but this is what they usually give you so you can swatch it yeah I'm not sure why they included that but they did so I'll have that if I need it <laughs> all right and that is everything from luminary next up is glitter mix Canada this took forever to get to me but it was well worth the wait I really love their products and their price point is really really good so you just got to keep in mind that if you're ordering from the US it does take a bit longer to get to you she included a little thank you packet of glitter super cute I think I'll definitely use these it's a nice grinchy green kind of color and I have a set of nails planned for some Grinch nails you'll see some stickers in here in a minute too that I'm gonna use first thing in the package that I ordered 
is this sticker organizer. So I have another organizer that I put on like my water decals in, but they're really small and it fits them perfectly. But my packets of stickers don't fit in those um, unless I cut them. And I really don't want to cut them because it's just my OCD. I can't get them cut across evenly because of the way the stickers are laid out on the paper and blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> this fits the stickers perfectly. So I'm gonna grab my other one and show you the size difference. It's not huge, but you see how small the little spaces are for those in that? This is the size difference of the two. So it's not super huge or anything, but the pockets on the inside are much bigger to hold the stickers. I'm gonna show you one of them in here right now. I think I picked up these stickers from Glitter Mix Canada in the fall as well, and I never got to use them. But they fit in there absolutely perfectly. Here's some Halloween stickers I believe I got from Daily Charm. Also fit perfectly, so I'm gonna stick all my stickers in here. Nice little way to organize it so your clients can flip through the book and see everything you got. All right, next up are some sanding bands. Not super exciting, but an essential. So I wanted to try out these green ones. I believe they're a medium grit. And then I got this nail piercing tool. So I have these little charms that I got forever ago from Born Pretty Store that I have this idea to do these nails and it's like these little dangly earring charmy thingies. Anyways, so I picked up the nail piercing tool to do that with, but it doesn't have the little sharp end. I don't know if you're supposed to take it apart. I'll have to figure that out later. Also, I got a little palette. This is so cute. I've been using just an old scraper, so I'm gonna toss that out and use this pretty palette instead. Then I got some tweezers. These are really nice. They have a super fine, tiny, teeny, sharp end. Perfect for stickers. And then the other end is like a rubber piece that you can push, use to push down the stickers. Really, really nice. Gonna get a lot of use out of that. Then I've got a couple of glitters. I got these really pretty snowflakes. These are like the pink slash teal, like shifty iridescent, super pretty. And I'm trying to show you here on the nail. They're really, really thin. So they'll be easy to push down without having too much, you know, pokey uppy bitties. And then I got Merry Christmas Mix. And it is so gorgeous. So it has like some silver bar glitters in it. Teeny tiny stars, actually a couple different sizes of stars in different colors and Christmas trees. Kind of silver, iridescent -y. not holographic, but really like shifty and super pretty. <laughs> then I got some stickers. These are some snowflakes and some deer, a couple little stars. And these ones glow in the dark. How fun is that? Really pretty. And then I got a holographic snowflake. I think I'll get a lot of use out of these coming up this season. And these are the Grinch, Grinch stickers. I got three different packs. She had three different kinds. So I got one of each. So cute. Lots of different little Grinchy things on there. <laughs> and then this last one here is super cute. Look at little Cindy Lou Who. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Really like this one a lot. So the, the one has like a smaller dog and the other one has a bigger dog. So that's good to have different size options. And that's it from Glitter Mix Canada. Last but not least, Uber Chic. So I just picked up one stamping plate and then I also got this nail art barrier. This is more of like a glue base instead of a latex base, I believe. And what I got this for is I wanna try to use it for like press-ons, but so I can like wear them more temporarily um, and pull them off easier. And also, I, I don't know, I'm gonna see if how good it works. I hope it's like a little bit more secure than the sticky tabs, but also pulls off easier than just gluing them on. <laughs> so this is the stamping plate I got. It's a New Year's one. I don't have a New Year's stamping plate at all. So these numbers are gonna come in handy. And they've got some cute stars and a couple little different Happy New Year on there. Super cute. Gonna get a lot of use out of that. All 
All right, so that is it for the haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Comment any comments you would like below, any feedback, um, any suggestions of videos you might like to see in the future. And if you're not already, subscribe. It's free. And yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.